go Lex. Hey Aloha and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. Today is show number 494 and you can find us at beachwalks.tv. Let's go Lex. Okay, you ready? Ready? Hi everybody. We've been uh, having yet another controversy here in uh, Kailua and I actually got a call on the conk line and I want you to uh, listen to it. It has to do with beach access. So uh, let me bring this up again and you can listen. Good morning Roxane. Uh, my name is Natalia. I visit Hawaii from time to time. I have a lectures in Kailua. And I just wanted to ask you about the gate controversy on the ranch place. We uh, installed the gate that blocks um, the beach boards from going on the beach. And there are two different opinions. One opinion is that um, it's their private property. Basically, this is a little gated community. And that ra that's correct. The other uh, opinion is that this is against one of the laws in Hawaii that says that um, all beaches are pu public in Hawaii and nobody can block access. So I wanted to see what you think about that. Okay, Thank so you very much. topics are us, controversies are us here. And uh, Natalia, thank you for your call. It's a really interesting point. One of the things about Hawaii is that all of the beach is public access. So every place where the water is up into the highest line of the shoreline, and that's subject to debate depending on uh, a number of different things, is public access. The trick is getting to the beach. And it's the law in that case, I've been looking it up, is a little bit vague. And it's partly because the, there's private land, right, that abuts the ocean, and then the state and the counties are supposed to be maintaining public access routes along ev every measured amount of space or unmeasured amount of space, but it's not specifically defined by the law. It's one of those reasonable statutes. Anyway, there's a little lane in our neighborhood where the property owners have put up a gate because they don't want the public to go down into their through their property down the lane to the beach access. And it's causing a little bit of a stir. My opinion on it is that I really am all in favor of access. I think that, you know, I think the people who are lucky enough to live on the beachfront property, and I know it's not just luck, I know they've paid a lot of money to be there and they've done whatever hard work to get there. But I still believe that the people have a right to get to the ocean. And that would be my opinion, in any case, of uh, what I think should happen. I think that if you're a private property owner and you live on the oceanfront, that I understand there are people that leave their beer cans and that sort of thing. But we do live on an island. We live in community with each other. And there are trade-offs that we all have. It's really one of my pet peeves when I see a lot of beachfront homes that are occupied only about four or five weeks of the year and the rest of the year they're completely empty. Um, somebody could be enjoying this beautiful, beautiful landscape. So that's more of my unbridled optimism for today. So thanks for your call, Natalia. And I'm going to link to the Surf Rider Foundation because they are a nonprofit organization that really do fantastic work to help maintain beaches all around the United States. And if you're not a member of them, you might want to consider helping them out because they really do a very wonderful job of helping these beautiful beaches stay open for all of us. Aloha, everybody. Malava Pono. You're not helping me much today, Lexi. What's this? Huh? What's this? Ready?